Hello everyone. So this map is finally complete as far as I'm concerned. So this is it. By the way, if you want to see how this was done, I do have a time lapse video that I already uploaded. So you can see how the whole thing started, which is the main city, if you will, the one with the, with the layers. So I put the link in the description for those who are interested. But otherwise, let's take a look. I'll show you guys around the things that I've done that I've changed from the last time I made the video and uh, some of the issues I run into in case you guys are doing something similar with, with layers. So, okay, let's, let's just take a look. The population, we hit 464,000 right now. And I know it's a little bit short of half a million. But it's gonna get there. I, I, I think I'll, I'll leave this game on for another afternoon. I will probably hit the 500. Uh, of course, I built this using the unlimited everything unlock because, yeah, there was just no way to do this on a normal game mode. So, yeah. Let's take a look at the main city. Let me get up close so I can show you guys how it looks. This is probably one of the nicer views, I think, from the side. You can probably see all the layers. It looks pretty nice. Something different. I just wanted something unique, something something that is not just another flat level city. So this came out, I think, pretty decent. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think this is the tallest building in the game. So I put that at the very top and then everything else kind of just spread around. Now on the other side, I wasn't planning to develop these areas, but I ended up doing it anyway, just to increase the population to see if I could get high enough, close to maybe half a million and things like that. So I made this town as well on the side. I think it's okay, it's pretty basic. Tall buildings on the side, and then in the middle you have the low density homes and stores and things like that it actually looks you know relatively relatively decent i think for a for a city on the side and then below below here this is another place that i ended up using for things that we do not want in the city so all the waste management is here with some recycling center and a solar panel is here and as well as i built a couple of these hydroelectric dams I have two here and i think i have another one there i wish there were an option to make them wider than two streets and uh, let's see so below that i have two more dams these ones look better because there is more they are taller so they look definitely much better these ones here they kind of look kind of kind of sad actually here is another city that is kind of industrial we have those those rock mineral thingies extractors and i think this is an oil refinery or extractor and uh, we have mostly low density again as well with some taller buildings around over here is kind of like a small mini downtown if you will with the uh, university and some other taller bigger buildings and uh, it looks you know it looks actually pretty pretty decent actually for a small city it doesn't look bad actually it's kind of kind of nice so next we have this is this is another big city that was part of the original plan and a big square with all the industrial in one side and uh, low density on the other side and a, another smaller airport so this this is perfectly square not bad for a secondary industrial low income city if you will and I have a few ports here. We have two cargo ports and then put a few large office buildings by the coast. And I have here, this is the passenger port, which I just realized now is too tall. This is too tall. It probably doesn't align properly with the ships. So yeah, that's, that's an oversight from my part. And let's move on to the center. This center city, it wasn't planned originally, 
one of the commenters gave me that idea and I thought, you know what, it's probably a good call. So I went ahead and did one and I think it turned out pretty, pretty nice. The space is there, otherwise it would look too empty and the circle came out pretty perfect. The second layer is a little bit off to the left, but I think decent. It still came out decent, better than I, I hoped for. So pretty happy with that. And uh, this is a pretty nice uh, view, having kind of this smaller city and uh, leading to the larger one. All the bridges, all these red ones, those are the Golden Gate Bridge. They came with the San Francisco map uh, as part of the package for from the Ultimate version. The train track here is, I think, is one of the my favorite things here. The original idea of this was inspired by the Hunger Games movie, the part two of the sequels, where they take a train from one of the districts and they go to the the capital. So that's how this idea was born. And so I made it this way. So it looks like it gets fancier, the track as well. It comes out, it's just regular track. But then when it gets closer to the city, it becomes this kind of fancier looking track with walls and things like that. One mistake that I made is I made these train tracks too low and I couldn't build the the ways for the for what is it called for the boats to go under. I cannot get my ships to go from this side to the other side. That's a mistake that I made. I realized very later on and I did not want to fix it. So so it is there. We have this city, this is the octagonal city where I put all the things that also we do not want in the city, all the wastewater management, more waste management and uh, landfill, you know, all that stuff is here. There's a nuclear power plant, another solar panel, mostly low density with a few medium densities here and there. Finally, we have this city on the other side of the main city and I have the airport, then I also have a space station and a couple of farms and a lot of industrial as well. I built a couple of offices here. I mean, they're completely, totally misplaced. I don't think they fit here well, but whatever. Again, another smaller town with mostly low density but a few medium density things and some large building by the coast since you know this side of the coast kind of overlooks the main city we could have a few taller buildings kind of make sense and uh yeah so let's see so as you can see quite a mess uh, when it comes to the roads especially this level here i, I don't even know where they lead sometimes uh so, but anyway, it, I think it is working as good as it can be. So yeah, that is it. I think this is probably going to be my last build. Uh, I'm not too sure if I will do another build. If I can think of something cool, something different. I know that they released two new maps just on a recent update, I think last week. I haven't looked at them yet. I'll probably take a look. I'll do another build if I can come up with a cool idea or something different. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to give me ideas for another build. And uh, other than that, enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.